this day we gather to remember those whose lives were suddenly and deliberately taken by acts of terrorism. Those who gave their lives to rescue attempts. All those who survived this tragedy of the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, Franksville, PA. On that fateful day, of Tuesday, September 11th, 2001, lost not only were civilians, great nation to 70 other nations around the world. The bell tolled five times for each location and the number of lives lost is spoken. World's Trade Center, 2,606. American Flight 1187. United Flight 17560. The Pentagon 125. Flight 7759. Jacksonville, Pennsylvania, United 93. In all, 2,977 lives lost. Before I continue, I do want to make one announcement. There's been a little change at the end. Uh, we normally meet at the uh, Pine Street Firehouse for a social hour. Uh, today, this will be uh, moved up to the VFW post 2692 on South Ave. All are invited. We'll now introduce uh, the chaplain from post 2692, Peter Terrell, who will do the uh, invocation. Uncover, please. O eternal light, shine into our hearts. O eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. O eternal power, be thou our support, deepen and quicken with us. O God, the sense of thy presence and refresh us with thy power. Most gracious God, who knoweth our necessities before we ask, behold us here, coming from all our various homes and work, asking in a common prayer for light upon our way, and for peace within our hearts. We give ourselves to thee this day, so rule and govern us so that all distrust of evil thoughts may be driven from our minds, that we may walk with joy in the light of thy glory and in the way of thy commandments. Amen. Amen. <coughs> The flag of our country will now be lowered to half mast. Hand salute.
two. By order of our governor of New Jersey, all flags flown today will be at half mast. I would like to introduce now our Bruin County Sheriff, Gene Stanfield. Good morning. It's truly an honor to be here with all of you today on this very somber occasion. We all remember where we were and exactly what we were doing 12 years ago today. As we cope with our disbelief about the senseless death in New York City, in Washington, D.C., and in Pennsylvania, our nation grew stronger and closer together as we took time to better appreciate our families, our friends, and our communities. During that time, we attended many candlelight vigils and memorial services. I recently found a newspaper clipping of my granddaughter and myself as we were attending a service in Mount Holly. It was a candlelight service and she was five years old. Her hair was in braids and the glow of the candles was reflecting off her little chubby baby cheeks. Well, guess what? Now she's 17 and we've celebrated many milestones with her. Um, she got her first job, went to the prom, we spent the summer looking at colleges. She just got her driver's license and started her senior year in high school. And as we celebrate all those milestones, I can't help but think of all the families of the victims of 9-11 who are missing those milestones. 12 years. Think about how many holiday dinners there was an empty seat at that table. Think about all the births, all the first steps, all the birthday parties, all the graduations, all the weddings. The, all these people will never attend and that emptiness is there for each and every one of those families, nearly 3,000. Please keep them in your mind because that's why we're here today, to remember them, reflect on their sacrifice and the loss to their families and to all of us as a nation. Sadly, the threat of terrorism isn't over. We saw that all too well in Boston recently. We have to be vigilant, we have to work together. There are those that have been brought up to hate us, to destroy our way of life is their only goal. We need to work together, and we can. We are a strong nation made up of strong individuals, and each of us has a role in keeping our country safe. We've seen that firsthand right here in Burlington County with the arrest of the Fort Dix Six. That took place because of the vigilance of one caring and concerned citizen who saw something and passed it on to the authorities. Unfortunately, our beautiful suburban neighborhoods of Burlington County lend themselves to those who want to plan terrorist attacks. We're right here, situated so closely to many areas of national significance. That's what they want to target. So as they are here among us, possibly trying to plan, we need to be vigilant. The only way we can stop these attacks is by having eyes and ears everywhere in the, our communities. Law enforcement cannot do this alone. We all have a role. So to put it simply, I'd just like to say, if you see something, say something. Working together, we can protect our neighbors and our families. And I hope you will join me in committing to this cause. I'm happy to say that Burlington County's first responder community is stronger than it's ever been. Um, because of 9-11 and, and the lessons learned there, um, we now train and prepare together in ways that we never did before. Um, the many disciplines have come together, fire services, EMS, emergency management, hazmat, law enforcement, and others working together, training together, preparing together for events that we hope will never happen. We also have one of the strongest citizens emergency response teams in the state, our CERT team. They've been so invaluable at many, many critical incidents over the past years. Um, not necessarily obviously terrorism incidents, but they help us with floods and hurricanes and all kinds of other issues that come up in Burlington County. And again, I think that spirit of strength that we've all gotten after 9-11 has pulled us together and will keep pulling us together as a community. As we pause to honor and remember those who lost their lives on September 11th, let us commit ourselves to defending against those who seek to destroy our democracy. Be on watch for behavior that just doesn't look right. Trust your instincts and report what you observe to local law enforcement. And as you close your eyes at night, remember all those who lost their lives on 9-11 and remember their families, the children who celebrate those milestones, missing a loved one. And also, as you close your eyes, please remember those service members that are out there today, still serving, protecting us, and those that have given their lives to keep our way of life. God bless America, and God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. 
I would like to introduce uh, uh, the commander of the VFW, uh, Danny Swenski. Danny, do you have any words you would like to say today? Uh, Mount Holly Township Mayor Richard Dow. Good morning. I'm going to keep this short. 9 11 2001 was a tragic day for our country. We all have memories of that day and they are all painful. What comforting words can be said? Times like this, I, I reflect back on great people, great presidents. So to quote a great, a, a great man, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Because we are one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty, and justice for all. God bless you all. God bless the United States of America. Thank you for coming out. I would like to introduce uh, Berlin County uh, Freeholder Deputy Director uh, uh, Leah Arter. introduced uh, Pastor Howard Hickey to say a few words from Medford Baptist Church. Thank you very much. I am pastor at First Baptist Church here in Medford. And um, a few words from a Baptist preacher. This is kind of a stretch. But let me say this. From a minister's perspective concerning 911, September 11, 2001, as long as there have been prophets and preachers, we have been struggling with this temptation, uh, with uh, the, the capacity within human beings for evil and for good. We've been struggling with this as long as we have been human beings. The September 11th in 2001 is a tremendous illustration of those two dynamics at work within the human experience. There is the capacity for evil when evil human beings strapped airplanes to themselves and with misguided and malevolent evil destroyed the lives of over 3,000 people including those who were destroyed immediately and those who have been suffering afterwards. 
But on the other hand, we also got to see the capacity for good, for tremendous, breathtaking good within the human experience. Because afterwards, how many people came together? How many people gave of their time? How many people gave of their finances? How many people gave of their personal blood? Human, we watched in horror as individuals rushed into the building while the building was about to collapse. You know, the Bible says, greater love hath no man than this, that a man give his life for his friends. We saw the capacity for good illustrated right before our eyes. And you know, that's, that is why I love America so much. That is why I love being an American in this time and in this day, because our nation was founded by individuals who understood these two dynamics that were at play at all times. And so, as a result, understanding the capacity for human evil, they established the rule of law, not the law of rulers. And we are the great benefactors of that. And understanding the capacity of a human being for good, they also established principles and ideals based on human freedom. And again, we are the great benefactors of that. We gather together today um, in freedom. We gather together on Sundays or Saturdays to worship in freedom. We gather together uh, to, to speak our mind, to, to write out the feelings that we have on our thoughts, to, you know, to express ourselves in the arts. And we do that in freedom because our founders, because the ideals and principles that have made our nation so good still hold sway. Alexis de Tocqueville, uh, you may remember him as a French, I don't know, historian, observer, who knows. But he said this about us, America is great because America is good. And as long as America is good, America will, will continue to be great. I think he almost had it. Because I think America is great because Americans are free. And as long as we pursue and hold fast to our freedom, then good, the human capacity for good will flourish in our nation. Then we will be good. And then we will be great. Let me encourage you with this. Um, September 11th, 2001, if nothing else should leave us with this thought, there truly is a human capacity for evil. There is also human capacity for good. May we as a nation, may we as a local community strive to pursue those ideals and those principles that cause freedom to flourish so that our good can flourish. And may God continue to bless you. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. We shall now honor those who because of acts of terrorists gave their lives on that fateful day, September 11, 2001, by the laying of wreaths. Our, our first wreath will be by Gene Stanfield, Sheriff of Vermont County, and Leah Arder, Deputy Director of Freeholders. On behalf of the citizens of Mount Howie, Mayor Richard Dow.
on behalf of the Mount Holly Fire District firefighters Tom Russell and Paul Holly. behalf of the Mount Holly Police Department, Sergeant Spettler. behalf of post 2692 VFW Commander Danny Sawinski and for the uh, ladies auxiliary of 2692 Mary Stewart. Post 11, the American Legion, Commander Lawrence Gladfelter, Auxiliary President Mary Schaefer, and Junior Vice Commander Bruce Howard Jr. We'll now have the benediction by uh, Pastor Hickey. Let's pray, shall we? Our Father, what a beautiful day you've given to us today. It's a crystal clear sky, not a cloud in sight. Father, that beauty masks the sense of mourning that we feel. But Father, we've been created in your image. And as a result, we are created to feel compassion, to mourn the loss of life, to grieve when loved ones have left us. And so on this day, Lord, we as Americans, mourn the loss of those who lost their life because individuals needed us as a community. So our prayer, Father, is as we, as we leave this place, that it be your comfort that guides us and strengthens us. It will be your personal presence that points us into the direction we want us to go. It will be your strength that arms us. It will be your goodness that is reflected in us. Thank you for the time that we are able to gather together like this. Pause, hope, grief. But Father, most of all, we thank you 
that is the author of love itself. You have gifted us with this love to be able to be spread abroad. Cause us to love. You. And cause us to honor you with our lives. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> I have uh, taps, please. SAL member Tom Hurley.
does conclude our service for today. Thank you for coming out. Uh, everyone is invited up to the uh, VFW uh, Hall on South Ave, post 2692. We'll have a little social, social hour and some refreshments.